Okay, judging by that spoil heap right there. That in the tunnel's entrance is right over there back where we were camping. <laughs> we were camping right over there. And it shows the tunnel entrance basically where the road veers off back towards the highway and that's where we're starting to veer off towards the highway and hopefully we see the other end of it too well it looks like there's a pipe up there in the mountain too right there cottonwood tunnel that's the only evidence that i have found that they dug a big tunnel or hole here the big old spoil pile all right we'll see if we can see anything better on the other side I'm, I'm co-pilot. Oh my god, the Ocotillos are beautiful. Jennifer's driving. Look at that. They're pretty. Very pretty. I like when they bloom. This uh, Cottonwood Mountain to the other side between uh, they call it Little San Bernardino Mountains and Cottonwood Mountains is where Pinkham 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 Pass and Pinkham Road is where we're gonna go through. It appears we've reached the other end of the tunnel. There's the spoil pile. It's quite a mountain they dug through because uh, we went a few miles to get around it here. And we're on Pinkham Trail now. We just picked it up at, uh, I guess you can get off the freeway there at Frontage Road off the 10 and pick up Pinkham Trail if you want. So we're starting our Pinkham Trail adventure. I don't know if we can see anything about the tunnel. We didn't see nothing on the other side. I think we camped right on top of it. So we'll check it out. So here's where they bulldoze all the stuff. Go left. Not right. They bulldoze the spoil heaps over there. And then we have a water pipe or water stack, it looks like. Right there. Another box. And we have this. So I'm thinking this is the other end of the tunnel right here. And there was one of there's a few of these over on the other side too. So that's where they came out of the mountain. Oh my god. You can hear the water. That's crazy. It's got a solid steel top on it and a vent, huh? Yeah. You can hear the water. Wow. Well, there you go, Colorado Aqueduct. Cottonwood Tunnel. Alright. Found our uh, trail here. It's marked. Very uh, narrow trail. Not very well uh, easy, it doesn't look like. Now we're starting our pink and canyon trail.
right, we read the sign. Lots of warnings about making sure you have tools, four wheel drive, high clearance, extra oil, extra water. I guess this might be a, a rough trail, this Pinkham Road. 20 miles we got. I'm not gonna film all 20 of them. Very pretty. Quite the rocky road, too. This is that other tree. Everything's still blooming. Crossroads. Go that way. Oh, we go that way. Well, we came up Pinkham Canyon right here. So we want to go that way. And then we're going to go this way and hopefully camp somewhere over here.
because that would be outside the park. But so far, let's see, two hours to get to uh, this point right here. Oh, we probably got another couple hours ago. Maybe an hour and a half. We'll see how it goes. I figure between one and three was our... To make the trip, it'd be two to four hours, is my guess. It's 20 miles, but it's pretty slow going. It's a uh, rocky trail. Very pretty, though. Everything's blooming. 